Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use one shot on your quadcopter. Um, in order to use one shot you have to first um, flash your Naze32 with clean flight and you have to install or flash um, your um, ESCs with the uh, BL Heli firmware. For a more detailed um, explanation on what what each of these things are, you can check on my website and there'll be more um, more info on there. But in this video, I'm going to mainly focus on showing you how to flash uh, your your flight controller with Clean Flight and show you how to flash BL Heli onto your ESCs. So here's basically all the parts you need or the things you need for this project. Um, the first thing you need is a is a USB um, programmer. I'm just using the Turnigy USB linker for this one. This thing basically lets you connect um, your ESCs onto your lap, your computer so you can flash your uh, firmware. And then you'll need a battery to power your ESCs. And then um, this is optional. You can use a motor to, to confirm that BL Heli is um, flashed on your on your ESCs and then also you need a NACE32 or whatever flight controller you're using. Last week I crashed my uh, quad and I, I messed up my my uh, NACE32 so I had to replace it. So currently it's flashed with base flight so I'm going to show you how to um, flash clean flight and set up um, the NACE32 on clean flight. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to download BL Heli onto your ESCs. Um, first off, I apologize if, if um, you hear the fan noise from my laptop kicking on. I'm running parallels on, on my Mac, so I can use the BL Heli suite. And um, you might hear my dog snoring also. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the drivers you need for your USB programmer. So you can go to my, um, my website or look in the links below this video and I'll put all the links you need for um, what you need. Okay, so I'm running Windows. So I'm just going to download the VCP driver for my system. I'm running Windows 8. So I'm just going to download this. Save. I'll just save it in my downloads and then open. And then once you have it downloaded, just unzip it, open, open it, and then you install. Yes, next, accept, next, ready to use, done. Okay, so now you have your drivers. Now I'm going to go install uh, BL Heli, BL Heli Suite, right here. I'll show, um, just check in the link. You, I'll show you where to download all this stuff. Download. So, and then you go click uh, where it downloaded. Extract all. Extract. And then just let it complete the download and then once it opens, just click this. And then here's your uh, BL Heli. So once you have your BL Heli installed, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to connect your USB linker to your um, computer. So I'm just going to plug it in like this. And then from here, Hit the drop down and you select the um, the programmer you're using. So I'm using this Afro or the Turnigy USB linker. So I select that and then go down to where your port is and select where your um, your programmer is plugged in. And then that should be it. And then now we're gonna get ready to install or hook up your um, ESC to your 
programmer. So the only thing you need to do for this is you need to remove the, um, the power pin, the middle pin from your um, receiver leads. So you're just going to get a little tiny tool and lift this thing up and then just pull out this wire like that. So it's going to look like that with the middle removed. And then, and then you're just going to plug it into your USB linker signal um, on the left and then ground on the right, just like this. Okay, so once you have your USB linker connected to your ESCs, um, before you plug it in and connect to the BL Heli suite, um, you're just going to power up your ESC. I'm just going to stick these in. Well, I'm going to plug it into the USB first. Like that. And then plug in the red to red, black to black. Like that. And then on your BL Heli suite, you're going to click connect. It's going to connect. And then next, you're going to hit read setup. So it's telling me right now uh, my ESCs. Um, flash with Simon K. Do you want to flash it with BL Heli? Yes. And then you just go here and you find the ESC you're using. I'm using a Afro 12 amp multi. And then you hit select or OK. And then it's just going to ask you to confirm, confirm. And then it'll take about 25 seconds to actually flash the firmware. Um, just let it do its thing. And done. It says BO Heli version 13.2 successful 25 seconds. Okay. So once it's um, flashed, the only two settings that I change is the PWM frequency dampen. I'm going to change it to light. So this is your dampen light. And then I'm going to change the motor timing to high. Done. And then you're pretty much done with flashing BL Heli. And then I'm just going to disconnect. And here's a way to confirm that your ESC has been flashed with BL Heli. If you plug in a motor, and power it up, you're going to hear three little beeps. Or you're going to hear this tone. If you hear three beeps, that means it's flash with BL Heli. I'll do it again. And you're done. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to flash clean flight onto our flight controller. The first thing you need to do is uh, get Chrome, install Chrome, and then add a clean flight configurator to your Chrome. So we're just going to do that. Add. And now you have clean flight. Okay, so once that's installed, next thing you do is you plug in your flight controller. And you'll notice it's not going to connect at first. So you do connect. It's not going to connect because you have to flash the firmware, flash clean flight firmware onto your flight controller first. So you go here, and then you just hit the drop down. And then you'll just uh, select the most current stable version for your flight controller. I'm using a NACE32, so I'm just going to select this one. And then you load online. It's loaded. And then you hit flash firmware. Okay, now it's telling me it's programming successful. Now I can connect. Now you're connected. So I'm just going to run through these settings really quick because uh, most of these I already know um, from my previous NACE32. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calibrate the accelerometer. To do this, you basically just leave your quad flat without moving. Hit 
calibrate and then it'll say start it and now it's finished and then next I'm going to go to configuration okay so um, I'm gonna disable the or I'm gonna enable the motor stop this is basically when you arm your quad your um, props aren't gonna automatically um, start spinning and then here I'm gonna enable one shot since I already flashed my um, ESC's with BL Heli in this quad I'm just gonna enable one shot and then um, on my um, NACE 32 I have my board mounted where the arrow is pointing to the right so I'm gonna adjust my yaw adjustment to 90 like that because if I don't adjust it your quad is gonna like do crazy flips when you try to um, take off so if your if your naze is pointing to the front you don't need to do this adjustment and then down here I'm gonna enable PPM because I'm using a D4R2 receiver um, outputting PPM on channel 1 and then for VBAT I'm gonna enable that and I'm gonna leave these pretty much so warning, I'm going to leave this, change this to 3.4, everything else stays the same. And then I'm going to enable RSSI, fail safe, and that should be it. And then just one thing to remember, um, when you, if you do any kind of settings in here, before you move on to the next tab, you have to hit save. Otherwise, it's not, it's not going to remember. Um, and pit tuning, I'll do in a separate post. Receiver, so I'm going to hook up my quad and then make sure my receiver is working right. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Engine on. Zero dB. Okay, so. Okay, you'll see here that my quad, the control is not working like the. Um, like my configurator and that's because my channel map is wrong it should be on this one change that hit save and now my throttle is throttle yaw pitch and roll everything looks good here now I'm gonna go to the modes okay so next I'm gonna show you how to set up the modes in clean flight because it's a little bit different than uh, base flight so in my previous video, I showed you how to program your Tyrannus, how to set the switches to your different auxiliaries. Um, I'll put a link in the description below, but for now, I'm going to assume you know how to do that. So for my controller, I have this switch right here set up as a flight mode. And then this is my arm and, arm and disarm. So you'll see in clean flight, you'll see on the um, left, you have all these options right here. So basically for the one you want, you ha hit add range and then you select the correct auxiliary you have. So I'm going to set this on. as arm. So this is my auxiliary 2. So I hit auxiliary 2, you'll see that this little orange Engine thing starts on. moving around. So I'm going to set forward as arm and then you just set the range to where you want like that. And then I have down set as my beeper. So I set this, change it to auxiliary 2. And then you'll see this thing go to the right. And then you hit save, it'll start beeping. See? Engine on. Arm. Beep. And the next thing you do, next thing I'll do is program my flight mode. So I usually have this um, in the high position for angle. So this is already auxiliary one. So you set it like this. And then in the middle, I usually have horizon. So it's already horizon. And then if you don't set anything for position like this, it'll automatically be um, angle mode. Or I mean uh, rate mode. So that's what I usually fly in. So um, hit save and everything should be set. So you'll see this part turns green because it's in horizon. This is an angle and then arm. This thing turns green, deeper green. And that's how you set modes in clean flight.
Okay, so here's a demonstration on a quadcopter running Simon K. Notice how um, when I shut off the motor or shut off the throttle, the, the motor just keeps spinning like this. And then I'll turn it up and then you can see how the motors are reacting in uh, base flight. So here's a demonstration of a quad running BL Heli in one shot. Notice how the, the motor stopped quickly after I cut the throttle.